Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby Trippin here at BBT East. And we're gonna be bringing you guys an Ergo video. This is getblock.io. This is one of the guys I've known for a while, Vinny, and his team runs this pool. It's a smaller pool and growing. However, they are bringing some innovation to the space. And we've talked separately, even before this video, and we were talking about doing this video on just what Ergo script is and how they are bringing transparency to mining using this pool and using the tech. We always talk talk about this from a developer's, you know, and, and building in the ecosystem. I was talking about this with Ethereum and now with them moving to proof of stake in about seven days, we're looking at all these different platforms. What are they doing? A lot of folks don't understand because they've only focused on Ethereum. Can their rigs move over to Ergo? How does it work? That whole setup we're gonna go through with this pool today and show you guys how to get into this, how to move your rigs over to it, try it with one card. That's what we're doing here today. We're gonna do a three-part series on this. Today is just like a single card and setting it up in Windows just to kind of try before you buy kind of thing. Like, does it work? How do you go and configure stuff? Is it that much different than Ethereum? What's the algorithm? All that kind of stuff. We're gonna cover that today for you guys. Most of these type of videos like this just kind of get into like, here's this thing and here's how you configure. And then we leave you with, with nothing else really from that. So I wanna try to peel it back a little more today, look at this script, show you guys how to do it. I always tell people like, before you YOLO everything into something, try it for a little bit and understand on how it functions and works. We're gonna get into that right now. So let's take a look on how to set up, how to get configured on this pool. And let's see if you guys just try like one card on it and see what your results are. All right guys, let's take a look at this. So what we're talking about today is Ergo. There, I'm gonna go through just a couple tabs real quick. We're gonna do a deep, dive on this in a different video that kind of breaks down what it is from a smart contract platform proof of work coin that has quite a bit of claims here when it comes to zero knowledge proofs and the way they're approaching it from a UTXO standpoint. I want to deep dive this separately. So you guys, if you guys are not subscribed, you should do that. Shameless plug for that as we peel this back. And when I say peel it back, we're going to get into that learn, build, contribute, and the mining side today, we're focused on the mining side. And Eero Docs here is a way to get in there and understand a little more if you're only, you, you've had this myopic view of Ethereum, there are options here on other coins. That's what we're looking at today from Ergo. If you're a developer, this is a really good place to start to understand the platform. But the thing that we're talking about today is mining. And within that, we're talking about getblock.io and what their smart pool is. Now, this is a three-part series where we're gonna kind of peel back first on how even to get your rig mining on this. This is what we're doing today. We're gonna focus on just getting like a single rig or a card working on this, and you can start to see payouts and see how it is a lot in the same of most all cryptocurrencies where you can point a rig, push some hash to it, you know, let it, let it process and get paid in the native currency for the work that you're doing. The smart pool piece of this takes the concept of leveraging smart contracts that will provide a transparent and on-chain processing of the miner shares and payment distribution. And this is what we're gonna do in part two, is to peel this back from an architecture standpoint and let folks understand this is one of the biggest complaints out there with some of these pools where you don't see what's going on in the background. They keep it in a native local database. Your shares, are you getting paid for the work that you're providing to the network? It's always been an open concern for folks and you know a speculative concern that the pool is kind of skimming off the tops. This aims to take that out of the question to where it will give you a, a page that will show you down to the smart contract the actual output of your shares and it's all settled on chain again part two will peel this back of how this functions and works in comparison to other different pools now if we come to the main pool page which is the ergo.getblock.io you'll see this main page and it works just like most other pools to where you don't need to register or log in or anything just to be able to participate in the Ergo you know, blockchain. You can point a rig, and let me pull this over here. Essentially, we downloaded T-Rex 0.26.5, 
This is obviously running Windows 10. And we will, in part two, show a rig and a, you know, setting up in Hive and simplemining.os. But in this particular one, I've configured an ergo get block set up so we're going to go in here and edit this and show you guys kind of just what we've done here essentially we're just running the t-rex stock settings and then we just went in there after the stratum dot stratum plus tcp colon forward slash forward slash this is what we've added to then have this machine start doing some mining on ergo now this address we got from creating a wallet now there's several wallets to choose from, including Minotaur, Nautilus, Sater Go, and SafeW, and now most recently Zellcore wallet. Now this is a RTX 3090 Kingpin edition, which is a pretty nice GPU. It gets around 240 mega hash on Ergo. We can see that there's 523 miners connected, and compared to last week, it's up. So it's up about 15% on this pool, and you can kind of see the top providers here which there is a farm out there with almost 49 giga hash on this pool and the next one's 31 giga hash you can kind of get that telemetry on what's going on uh from this pool standpoint how many blocks they found in the last 24 hours and last week this is how all the distributions paid and then the average blocks per hour that this pool is finding right now now the way this pool works is like any other pool that you're just mining to a particular address we can paste this in here now this machine is is off mining because we're recording this screen now when I do this search here it gives us a pool stat immediately and then it gives us ability to go to personal stats now this is showing our our contribution it's going down right now because this this is off if I switch this over to what's the past day look like you can see this machine has been mining right around 240 to 250 as far as the pool is concerned what our output is we did do some configuration here. So this RTX is doing pretty good, but the, the reality of the miner is showing about 240 mega hash when this card is mining full tilt. Pools reading it is a little higher than that, but pools have to estimate based on your shares, your, your positive shares that you're sending, your good shares, that uh, what it's estimating what your mega hash is. Because it's giving you a body of work and it knows and calculates for you to complete that work, it has to do it over so many mega hashes. So that's the way pools kind of calculate you have like a reported hash rate and then you have like what your average is and that's why sometimes you see these little spikes and valleys is sometimes you're solving the work a little faster so it thinks you have a little more hash rate and it's kind of bouncing it up above so over a longer tail than this you'll get you'll end up getting a more even distribution um where it'll it'll level out what your hash rate is now you can see this corresponds with what we have in our wallet here we have 0.25, pool is reporting that it's paid as 0.25. And then you can see again, uh, total hash rate of the pool performance and that around here. So, uh, you know, typical setup, you know, we go out here and configure, it goes to this wallet and essentially we just run this, this script which then will launch the miner and then start mining for the pool. All right, guys, that was a real quick intro to getblock.io's pool. And it's not that much different than a normal Ethereum pool if you're using something like Ethermine when it comes to just configuring your local, if it's a GPU in Windows or if you're on Hive or Simple Mining, using that, you know, the basic script in there to show what address you're mining to and essentially their pool plus a port number. So very basic stuff. What I challenge everybody out there to do, put a one GPU, a couple GPUs on this, make sure that it's functionally working for you. As we monitor what happens post ETH merge, you know, there's a lot of different networks out there that you can still proof of work mine and Ergo is one of them. And having an ability to make sure that you can pivot quickly over to a pool, you know, is paramount. You gotta be able to look at your equipment and say, can I put this on something else? And is it, do I have to do a lot of research or not? When you look at that basic config, it's not that complicated to switch that over. 
And then look at your different wallet options. If we're talking that Yori wallet, or if you're looking at something like Zellcor wallet, which just added Ergo support, it being an option for you to mine to. So looking for your guys' feedback. Again, next video, we're gonna peel back what the smart pull is and the different types of other tokens that you can get with that. Peel back also the chain view of that and how that works from a share standpoint. It'd be a, lot, a, a deeper dive on actually how pools work. I think that's very valuable to understand that for people to understand the transparency of that and look at if you're a developer and you're watching this video, how you can participate in this ecosystem and develop on that Ergo script to give some value add back to this community. So hopefully you guys like that real quick video. Stay tuned. Make sure you like subscribing, sharing and all that fun stuff, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.